hi guys welcome to niger news channel here is another trending news for you today the subtitle says election tribunal ot oga punishing abians for not voting for them okiye kalo john okiye kalo the abia state commissioner for information and strategy has blasted the governorship candidate of the all progressives grants alliance apga alex ot and that of the all progressive congress apc which chuko oga over their decision to challenging the outcome of the just concluded 2019 gubernatorial election in the state he claimed that the resolve of the duo to challenge Governor Okeze Igbazu's victory in the election tribunal was another evil mechanism to slow down the development of the state. Kalu vowed that no amount of gimmick and media propaganda by the oppositions would deter Igbazu late government from bringing democratic dividends to the doorsteps of Abians. Daily Post had reported that Alex Oti, the APGA governorship candidate, had filed a petition challenging the declaration of the People's Democratic Party candidate and incumbent governor, Okezie Ipazu, as winner of the election by the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC. A copy of the petition made available to newsmen in Umoya on Thursday quoted OT as asking the tribunal to cancel the result of 15 local government areas in Abia, which he OT claimed were made by overvoting and ordered for return. The Abia commissioner, who made this known on Saturday while reacting to the litigations challenging the re election of Governor Pazu for his second term, said, when will acrimonious post-election litigations end in Abia State? Maybe we should start questioning the motive and patriotism of those who have decided to start another round of post-election litigations in Abia State. Do they hate to see a progressive Abia State or actually seek to punish the people of Abia State for not voting for them? After a hard-fought Anambra governorship election in 2017, the losers decided to shelve going to court to enable the incumbents settle down and work for their people. Some of those now in court in Nabia state raised their patriotism and proceeded to put out Anambra as a model state in terms of development. Same happened in the just concluded election in Bauchi and Lagos state where those who lost congratulated the winners shortly after the polls. We had better polls conducted in those states compared to Obia or the, the opponent of the winners come from heaven. It is too late for me to advise OT or Oga not to approach the tribunal to ventilate whatever they term their grievance. They are already at the tribunal and lawyers mostly non abians are smiling to the banks through them already at the expense of the common abians. Carlo question who knows who is giving the duo fake assurance in Abuja or pushing them to destabilize their states for whatever reason all I wish to appeal to them is to confine their challenge to the court rooms and leave the media space alone. They can litigate their matter for three years quietly without the usual noise and propaganda that help to destabilize and polarize our people. At the end of the litigations, I am confident. Governor Igbazu will defeat his opponent and the people of Obia State will respond to the litigants. I do not need a survey to know that the majority of Obia's wish that we do not go through another 
rancorous litigations process, but selfishness will never allow our politicians to calmly listen to the people and work together for the common good. One fact is certain in many minds. They can only be one governor at a time in Abia State and that governor is already there till 2023. Dr. Okezie Ikbazu, no tribunal or court in Nigeria will ever pronounce Uchiuga and Alex Oti joint winners of the governorship election in Abia State. It does not matter how many meetings they hold at night or joint press conferences they call to gang up against the incumbent abia voters have spoken already he said please don't forget to subscribe to our channel for news update thanks for watching